Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm feeling like doing like a Jasmine kind of Aladdin inspired makeup look just because that new Aladdin movie's just been recently like put out with Will Smith and also like went to a party on the weekend and I was like Jasmine so I'm feeling like super inspired by that at the moment so that's kind of where I'm going to go with this look today. But yeah, so I think I might do skin last just because it's going to be quite a heavy eye makeup look. I'm so excited. I haven't done like a proper intense like eye makeup look in a hot minute. Like it has been a little while so I'm really excited to do this look today. If you guys do want me to do like a, like a Disney character kind of series, let me know. Like let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, let's get to it. <laughs> Should I do... My brows first? Probably. I'll be right back. <laughs> so, I've got my brows on and like, guys, I'm not gonna lie, like, they are fierce. I want something really structured just because, like, it is a kind of extravagant makeup look. So I did want to have something very sharp and defined, so I did carve them out. I will make sure to leave my eyebrow tutorial up above if you guys do want to check it out. It won't be exactly this because, like I said, I did carve them out. But in saying that, it'll be um, be pretty similar. So, yeah. And I will also make sure to leave the products like list down below. All the products that I use, even my brow products and stuff, if you guys are curious. But yeah, just like figuring out how I want to tackle this look. I will do an eye base. That's what I'm going to do. So, firstly, I'm going to take my itty bitty little jumbo pencil in milk. It's just a nice creamy white eye base. I'm going to apply this all over the lid and blend it up to my brow um, to fade it out. I do want to have quite a blank canvas, that's why I'm using a white. You can go in with like a normal eye base, I just find with using such vibrant colours, I want them to really, really stand out, and a white base will do the trick for you. So, I think for the first eyeshadow colour I'm going to go in pretty pretty intense. I want like a deep rich like blue. So I'm going to take two colours. I'm going to take the shade Twerk from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and mix it with the shade Sapphire from Morphe. And I'm just packing this on to the outer V area with a pencil brush just making it like super pigmented. Just in this outer V portion because we're going to smoke it out pretty far. So I'm just getting the darkest part down first. Then on a little tulip brush from Morphe. This is the Morphe M139 brush. I'm going to dip into the shade from Makeup Geek called Neptune and just buff out the edges and like start to smoke it out towards the tail of my brow. So I'm just placing it down on the edges of like sapphire and twerk. And just kind of using a light hand, taking it out towards, like I said, the tail of my brow. Really elongating Jasmine's eyes. And buffing it down to the corner of my eye as well. Don't worry if we get it down too low. We'll just clean it up um, when we apply concealer and everything. It's the beauty of doing the eyes first. And I'll just grab like a clean fluffy brush and just slightly soften any harsh edges or anything that I feel is there. Next I'm going in with a matte purple shade. This is from Sugar Pill in the shade Poison Plum. And on that same pencil brush, I've wiped it off so there's no excess blue. I'm just going to start packing that on, um, bringing it in towards the inner corner of my eye, but uh, still keeping it on the outer portion, but just like working its way in, if that makes sense. I'm just taking like a light bit of wisteria. I'm just going to buff out the very edges a little bit of that purple. And just bringing in a bit of Neptune as well. Just a little bit. Just to soften any harsh lines of the blue. Next I'm going to take Custard, this vibrant pink shade from the Juvia's Place palette. And I'm going to start packing that along the eye again, so just next to the purple. Just kind of keeping it to the crease area, I'm not bringing it onto the lid because we're just going to carve the lid out anyway, so I'm just kind of keeping it to this kind of area along here. And just taking a clean petite crease brush, I'm just going to buff it out a little bit. 
even bring a little bit of wisteria in just to soft, to like soften the edges just a smidgen. And I'm packing on the pink with a Morphe MB16 brush by the way, it's just like a little chisel shader brush so it just helps to pack on that pink. Next I'm going to apply like a nice vibrant orange shade so I'm going to take Flame Point from Sugar Peel and start packing that on next to the pink. Here I'm just kind of bringing some pink back, like going back and forth between the pink and the orange to kind of get them to blend into one another. And then finally I'm just grabbing that really vibrant yellow shade from the um, Sugar Peel palette called Butter Cupcake and applying that towards my inner corners. Just on that last section that we have on our eye. And I might even grab a bit of creamsicle and just kind of blend that in between the orange and the yellow. It's like a perfect transition for those two shades. And just a clean blender brush and just softening the lines just slightly so it's not such a harsh defined line. Okay, so that's like I'm happy with that kind of crease look at the moment. So I'm going to carve it out, like carve out the lid. So I'm just going to go in with an eye base. This one is from MAC. It's the Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm just going to give my crease a good carving, good carving out. I'm going to bring it probably slightly above my natural crease as well because I do want to make Jasmine's eyes uh, quite big. So I'm going to give that kind of illusion that they are. And I also just kind of mapped out where I'm going to do like my little flick. Because I want to have like a kind of gold or like glitter, maybe even white um, little like thing, like crease flick, if that makes sense. I think oh, you'll see what I mean anyway. For the inner part of the lid, I'm going to mix some of Ice Queen and Poolside together. Just to kind of create like a baby blue, just for that uh, inner lid part. So I'm switching to a little precise shader brush just because I need a little bit more precision in my life. I wasn't getting a crisp enough like line just along there. Next I'm taking Pool Party, the very <laughs> well loved shade from my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And I'm placing that all over the rest of like the cut crease space on my lid. Meshing it into the outer corner where the blue and the purple are. And I'm actually going to leave like a little line where we did that cut crease just because I'm going to use that with, the, with like gold pigment or like a glitter liner or something. I'm just kind of leaving that blank, that little area there just like a little bit. I don't know if you can see. I'm even applying a bit of Pegasus from Makeup Geek over top of Pool Party just to make it a little bit bluer because it is a lovely turquoise shade but I just want a little bit of something a little bit of something blue on there just on the center of the lid too not the whole way across but damn that pool party shade is so spot on it's such a gorgeous like turquoise color sorry about the rain if you can hear it on camera it's a bit of a downpour at the moment that's why the lighting is a bit darker today Speaking of, let's just turn her up a little bit. And then bringing back some of the purple and blue tones just on the outer corner of my eye. Slowly just blending it into Pool Party. And then just putting a bit of Neptune down in between like the Pool Party shades in the outer corner. And just going back and forth. Like I feel like I've covered up too much of Pool Party. I'll bring some of that back. Like it's just a bit of back and forth between the two. Mm. That is delicious. So delicious. So I'm going to take some of this like pigment from Gorgeous Cosmetics in the shade Antique Gold. Just because it would be really vibrant. Um, an eyeshadow would do but I want something more, like I said, more vibrant than that. And I'm literally just going to run this gold, like I said, right along that crease. That little like line that we've left. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh my god, that gold just goes so well. Just gonna tidy it up a little bit with some of Pool Party just underneath. What do you guys think? I think it looks so good with that gold. Mm. So finally for that like little white 
like flick thing. I'm going to take some of this NYX like liquid liner in white. Not a huge fan of these like NYX liquid liners. They do crack a lot, but because I'm just using such a small like amount on a small area, I hope it, it should be fine. I mean, I hope so. So we'll see. So just like that, just two little white little flicks connecting onto that gold one. Just to give a bit more definition to that kind of cut crease. Um, but yeah, now we're going to do the winged liner. So I'm going to go in with my soft ochre paint pot from MAC and just kind of map out just a wing here. I'm actually going to bring it out. I'm just going to put like a coloured wing kind of thing along the lid area. I'll show you what I mean because it's kind of hard to explain. So just kind of like that, I brought it up to about where the blue is. Just a little concealer, like liner, like half liner look. And then I'm just going to kind of replicate what I did in the crease on the liner. So yellow, orange, pink, purple into the blue. And putting a bit of creamsicle between the orange and the yellow to blend them. So just like that, so those colours just fade into one another. You don't know where one begins, one ends kind of thing, you know. So next we're going to grab my Hayley Baldwin for Model Co. Liquid Liner. And I'm just going to just outline the edge of this liner here and bring it to about the blue. So I've got my black liner on. I'm going to deepen up the outer corner. So I'm just going to grab that pe original pencil brush that we used at the beginning and grab some of Sapphire and Twerk again and just deepen up the outer V area. And some of the pink again just to blend it into that blue. Damn, I'm so happy with how this turned out. So happy. I also kind of extended it in the inner corner. I didn't say before, but I wanted to... Because Jasmine has quite elongated eyes, so I was replicating that. I'll do it properly when I've cleaned up all this fallout and like do my face and everything, which we'll move on to. Oh, now I'll put false lashes on. That's what I'm going to do first. So, firstly, for mascara, I'm going to take my Mega Plush Volume Express mascara from Maybelline and just coat my lashes, my top ones, nice and thick and black. And for lashes today, I'm going in with the lashes from Anitude in the style fairy so now i'm going to move on with the rest of the face before i finish off the eye look so for primer today i'm going to go in with my 100 percent pure mattifying primer full of antioxidants and vitamins i'm just going to apply this mainly in the center of my t-zone and then just whatever's left um work it out towards the outer perimeters of my face and it's just going to help mattify my skin because I am quite oily. So I just prefer to have a primer that's a bit more mattifying than like dewy or like glowy or anything like that. Just for my skin preference. Um, but yeah. So for foundation I'm going to take my Fit Me Matte and Poreless foundation and mix it in with my Milani 2-in-1 foundation to get like the perfect colour and also get that mattifying, smooth skin, like flawless look. So next I grab my concealer from Maybelline, it's the Instant Age Rewind Concealer and I apply that under the eyes and all over the centre of the face, so forehead, down the bridge of the nose and chin, just to highlight the face and I also bring it under the cheekbones as well to carve them out and I just go ahead and blend that in with my Sigma F86 Tapered Kabuki. And then I just go ahead and set all of that in place with my raw pressed powder in the shade Nude. And I just go ahead with a dry beauty sponge from EcoTools and just kind of bake that into the skin, really press it in there, especially over the pores to blur them out so that I just like to have a really even, flawless base for Jasmine, you know. So, oh, I literally, I like, am living... For this eye look with this base, guys. Literally. Oh, doesn't skin just make such a difference? Like, before with the eyes, it was like, ooh. But now with that flawless base, it's like, mmm. Mmm. So, next I'm going to take my NYX Contour and Highlight Kit and take those two brown shades, the warm tone ones, um, on a bronzer brush, a tapered bronzer brush from Chi Chi. 
and just start to warm the complexion up give jasmine a bit of warmth with life back to her skin you know she is quite tan which i love so much so i'm definitely going to be incorporating that so i'm not sure will i do blush or will i just leave her tan i'm tossing about that at the moment sculpt out the jawline because she is extremely chiseled she's just gorgeous just gorgeous and bring it down the neck as well so it's a bit more even rather than just all being focused on the face and then just take my beauty sponge and just help press that powder into the skin because if I do go a bit heavy handed which I do feel I did I can just help it blend into the skin so it doesn't look so like muddy so guys leave a comment down below which Disney character is your favourite I always toss up between like Jasmine and Snow White those are like my two favourites. Of course I loved Ariel and Cinderella and all of them too. But those were my definite two favourite characters. So let me know which ones you guys loved. And just taking some of that yellow shade. I'm just going to chisel out like underneath my cheekbones a little bit. And highlight the centre of the face ever so slightly more. So... So I have decided to use blush. And the one I'm going in with is this beautiful muted tone. Um, from Makeup Geek in the shade Infatuation and I'm applying that to the contours of my cheeks and bringing it onto the apples with whatever's left on the brush. And finally, because I really want to chill out my cheekbones, really give Jasmine a really structured look, I'm going to take the shade Breakup from Makeup Geek. It's a contour powder. It's a nice cool tone brown and I'm going in with a fan brush actually and just really carving out my cheekbones. And again blending it out so i think i'll go in with highlight last i will set my face first with my kat von d locket setting spray just quickly just to kind of lock all those powders and everything in place and then i'll highlight a little bit later i think i'll finish off my eyes first wow. so for the bottom i'm just tossing up i will carry out that blue i'm just not sure I want to make it heavy or quite soft because the lid is like what I want the main focus to be. I think I might just keep it blue underneath the eyes, but like a couple different blues. So taking a sapphire on a Morphe M326 brush, I'm just going to tightly wiggle this against the outer corner bottom lash line area. Such a pretty shade. It's like a shimmer. So beautiful, I love it. So I'm just tapering it into about here. I'm going to blend it out with my pencil brush. So I'm taking Neptune and just blending out the edges, making sure to connect it up to the corner of my eye. Do I want to use gold even? Would gold be too much though? I feel like gold might be a little bit like a little bit much. So I'm thinking I'm going to take Beam from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and place that on the inner third of my bottom lash line just to really open up the eyes because these are quite heavy lashes and the lid is so, <clears throat> it's just so cool. It, the eyes can close off a little bit so I'm just wanting to open them up again. This is just a clean blender brush. I'm just buffing out beam a little bit. And then I think I might take a gold just here in between. So I'm going to take, I think it's Queen from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And just plonk her on. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, I really love this colour. Oh, great choice, Megan. It just helps that gold in the crease area stand out a little bit as well. Because it's got that contrasting. Just buffing in a bit of Neptune into that gold so they transition well into each other. There's no harsh lines. So finally I'm going to add a nude, whoop, a nude eye coal into my bottom waterline to really open up my eyes. So I'm going to take the Models Prefer Nude Coal Eyeliner. And for my bottom lashes I'm going to take the same mascara that I used on the top ones. And that is the eye look completed. So I'm going to do my lips and I'll finish off with the highlight. So I'm going to line my lips with my Nude Coal Liner 
uh, the lip liner from Rimmel in the shade 049 Natural. And I am going to slightly overdraw my lips to give Jasmine that really full, beautiful, plump looking lips. So I just overdrew, overdrew around my cupid's bow area just because I don't like doing the outer rims. I find it looks like I have clown lips if I go a bit too crazy. So for the liquid lipstick I'm going in today with, I'm taking Clear Message from Zoeva. I'm going to take a gloss. I'm going to take the undressed lip gloss from Dose of Colours. And I'm just applying it to the centre. I want it to be more of an ombre lip rather than just a full blown, just like nude. I want it to kind of fade in. I don't know. For my favourite Brit... Brit, Brit, Brit. <laughs> For my favourite bit, which is the highlight, I'm going to take the two shades from Violet Voss. First, I'm initially going to take Star Glow, which is the middle shade, and apply that all over the high points of my face. I'm using it also to kind of make my bronzer a little bit glowier, because it is a tan shade highlight. I can kind of make the bronzer on my cheeks and things look a bit more glowy and um, dewy rather than quite matte. Then for the high points, I'm going to take uh, Moon Gleam, which is the lightest highlighter from that palette, and apply it on the very high points of my cheekbones, tip of my nose, um, Cupid's bow, and lip. Then finally, I go ahead and set my face with my Kat Von D Locket Setting Spray. So guys, this concludes today's makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed it. I am obsessed with how this Jasmine eye makeup turned out, especially like... I'm so proud of myself. Like, this was a challenge I set for myself. I knew it was going to be hard, but I was like, yes! Nailed it! I hope you guys did enjoy it. Do try it out and let me know how you go um, at home. If you do recreate this look, please send me your recreation recreations. Please send me your recreations through either Twitter, Instagram, and please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up before you leave and subscribe down below to my channel. Otherwise, have an amazing week, guys. I love you all so much. Bye.